show. My name is Bella and I love to see you guys every single week. I want you guys to go grab your Bible and lift it up super high and say, this is the best book in all of history. Oh, I heard you guys. Okay, now I want you to run to somebody who's in your house and tell them, this is the best book in all history. Let's see, who did it for real? Did you do it? Did you do it? How many of you ran up to your dog or your cat and you said, this is the best book of all history? It's okay if you did, because honestly, this is the best book of all history. Let's say in the phrase of the day, repeat after me. I am a reader of his promises. Good job! What does that mean? Well, when you open up the Bible and you're reading God's word, you're reading God's promises. So now I want you guys to open up your Bibles. We're gonna read and take a deep breath. And I'll say the phrase one more time. I am a reader of his promises. Good job! What promises? What is a promise? You guys know what a promise is? Well, it's something that God says he'll do and then he does it. Do you fulfill your promises? Yo soy lector de sus promesas. 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 Yo soy la actora de sus promesas. Yo leo las promesas de Dios en la Biblia. your teeth today okay there's a few people who brush their teeth today <laughs> raise your leg if you brushed your hair today nobody okay now I want you guys to raise both of your hands if you ate breakfast today okay okay now raise both of your hands and both of your legs if you read your Bible today whoa I'm seeing all the kids who read their Bible today good job Guys, to grow in our yes and our commitment to the Lord, we have to be readers of His Word, readers of His promises. Grandpa's calling me. Grandpa! How's it going? Hey, Bella, Bella, how you doing? I just want to tell you a story, but you know what? When your mom was about maybe 12 or 13, she started reading the Bible every year. By the time she graduated from from high school, she'd been reading it every year. And as far as I know, she just has continued reading the Bible every year. You know, it the when we when we study the Bible, 
We show ourselves approved, the Bible says. My dad, you know, he, your, your great-grandfather, Lauren Triplett, this is one of his Bibles. Every, um, <clears throat> every year, uh, he would read the Bible and mark it. You know, when he got old, when he got all Alzheimer's, he got a Bible with the markings in it, and he's continued to mark his Bible and it page by page with the same markings he had he had put in the year that he could still remember. It was such a habit ingrained in him. You know, it, we have to have the Bible to be able to know how to how to serve. I want to show you this. This Bible here, look at it. I've had it recovered twice. This was my preaching Bible when I first came to El Salvador. Every page is marked up. And then I then uh, this is another one of my preaching Bibles. It finally just wore out. Uh, this is another one of my preaching Bibles. This is the one I'm using right now. And it's wore out. And this Bible here, look, this is a special Bible that was given to me by the Stamps family. And and this Bible, look, has their signatures. Their, uh, Don Stamps is now with the Lord, but I have this, this, um, this Bible that they gave to me in School of Missions in 1993. And you know, when we read the Word, it becomes part of us. And you read it every time you read it, and whatever you read, God applies it to your day. So it's not like, oh, wow, well, I'm reading the same book again. It's a rerun. No, it's a living word. So the Lord takes a different part of it and applies it to what you're going through the day you read it. And it's a beautiful uh, challenge for you and for every child and that's watching the Castillo Show and include Castillo or Castle Club. Uh, to become an avid reader of the Word of God. Wow, Grandpa, I love that. Thank you so much for calling me today. I love you. Bye. Guys, how many of you have read the book of Ephesians? If you've never read the Bible before and you don't know where to start, start in Ephesians. That book has promise after promise after promise. It says in Ephesians that we are God's children, that we are God's masterpiece, that we are chosen and set apart by Him. Hey guys, I'm Michelle. Today we've been talking about being readers of His promises. You know, what? where can we find His promises? In the Bible. We've been talking about this book all day. And you know what? There are so many things that we can learn. There are our adventures, there's so many promises and answers to our questions, so many things in this book. And you know, when we learn to read the Word of God, we learn to, to walk out our faith. Sometimes you could say, I don't know where to start. Michelle, I have tried to read my Bible and I don't understand. Guys, you know what? How do you start reading the Bible? You have to start. Maybe you don't know where to start and a great place to start is in the book of Ephesians. The book of Ephesians is full of God's promises for his sons and daughters. And it's a great place to read and learn about his promises that we are chosen, that we have been um, set apart. And God has so many amazing plans for our lives. I want to read the verse today. Um, it's in Hebrews 4:12. For the word of God is alive and active sharper than any double-edged sword, penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. It's alive and it's powerful. It is a word that guides us and it shows us what to do. It's interesting that it talks about how it just shows us the attitudes of our heart and how God speaks. It's like that sword that can cut through anything that the enemy might try to throw our way. And if we are full of the promises of God, there's nothing that can stand in the way of a son, of a daughter of the king. Guys, when we begin to read and unpack the word of God, we begin to sharpen our sword and be able to walk out victorious every day. You know, as we read the Bible, it's important to learn how to read the verses, how to learn how to apply it to our daily life and challenge us to continue to grow. 
As we read the scriptures, it's, it's important to learn how to make it to where it's applicable to you. I want to pray for you that God will show you how to sharpen your sword, how to read the word of God and apply his promises to your life. Lord, I thank you for your sons and daughters. I thank you because your word is true. I thank you for the stories and the adventures and all the strategies and amazing creativity that are unpacked in this book that's alive, that is powerful and relevant today. God, I thank you for what you're doing and how you're speaking to each one of us. And I pray, God, that the word of God would be applied to our daily life. In your name we pray. Amen. Guys, I've read my Bible every year since I was a little kid. And it's important to grow, to grow, to grow in the word of God. And you, when you start in Ephesians, then you can start with Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John and learn how Jesus lived his life so that you can learn how to live your life. And as we read into the further of the New Testament, there's so many promises and instructions and, and prophecies to unpack. The Old Testament is full of stories and adventures where the world began and how we can apply the promises from long ago to today. There is so much to unpack in the Word of God. It's alive and it's a powerful instruction manual for today. May God bless you and may He guide you to read the Word of God and be readers of His promises, readers of the Bible. May God bless you. I'll see you next week. Bye. Thanks for watching The Cassie Show. If you made it to this point in the video, comment down below with a book emoji. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with all your friends. See you next week. Bye! Hey, wait, wait! Don't forget to download Cassie Show in Action, the discipleship that goes with each episode. We want you to continue to operate in the supernatural and get closer to Jesus. And go to our Facebook, iCrowd Club Castillo Kids. Bye! <laughs>